Hey everyone, it's Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm here to review two scooters uh, that Murph have supplied to me to review. Uh, the first one on the left here is, uh, on my left, is the uh, entry level S Pro uh, electric scooter from Murph. And on my right here is the uh, RS, which is the long range uh, variant of the Murph uh, electric scooter. Uh, and they're certainly available from the Murph website, m-e-a-r-t-h.com.au. Use my coupon code for 10% off all products site-wide. I'll leave those details in the video description below. Okay, so let's run through the differences between the two products. So this electric scooter here is the S-Pro, which is the entry level range. There's an S and an S-Pro, this one's the S-Pro. And then this one here on my right is the RS, which is their long range variant. Uh, so let's go through the differences between them. So uh, in terms of price, this uh, S-Pro is $899 Australian dollars and this RS is $1,299 Australian dollars. Uh, there's a significant difference in the battery size. So the S Pro is 360 watt hours, uh, whereas the RS is 560 watt hours. And because of the difference, there is also a difference in range. So you're looking at uh, this RS uh, being about 60 to 65 kilometers of range. Uh, and this S Pro here, the entry level one, is about 30 to 40 kilometers of range. Uh, there's also a difference in terms of power, so uh, the S-Pro entry level uh, has a power of 350 watts, whereas the RS is a much stronger uh, motor, uh, 850 watts, and uh, having tried it out, uh, there is a significant difference in terms of how well it can climb hills. So if you've got a steep hill in your area, or if you need to climb a hill, uh, you definitely need to get the RS version as opposed to the S-Pro, which is better for flats, of course. Um, in terms of weight, because of the battery size difference, the S Pro is 15 kilograms and it's pretty easy to lift. I'll just put the brake up and you can lift it up like that. So it's quite, quite light. Um, whereas the RS, because of the increased battery size, um, it's a bit heavier. So it does take a bit more force, a bit more strength to lift it up as well. Um, in terms of speed, uh, we'll go through that in the display. Um, tops out at uh, 32 uh, kilometers an hour for the S-Pro, and this can go up to 40 kilometers an hour for the RS long range. The software of the devices do lock the top speed at about uh, 25 kilometers an hour for each one. Okay, so uh, the beauty of these scooters is that you can actually remove the batteries and then charge them remotely before putting it back in. So for example, uh, you're going to work or uni, um, you can take the batteries out, charge them somewhere else before going back home. So to do that for the S-Pro, you uh, pull this down like that and then lift the whole battery up. It should just slide out and there we go, that's the battery right there. And uh, there is also a charge point here, so that's where you plug in your charger, which is included charge it in your office or at work or at uni, wherever. And then when you're done, ready to go home, you slide it back into the device like that. Down, and then that's it. And that uh, is quite secure now. So but that's the S-Pro. And then for the RS, the battery sits literally on the floor of the device. So skateboard design, so to speak. So, you want to lift up the battery from this area, so turn these screws like that, counterclockwise, and then once they're loose, lift up, and there's the battery right there, and you can lift it up like that, and same thing, charge it wherever you need to, and then put it back in. And of course, being the long range version, the battery is uh, larger than the S-Pro entry level. Tighten the screws, tighten that one. Okay, away you go. Okay, so being of different battery sizes, that affects the charge time, of course. So the RS long range has a charge time of eight to nine hours for a full charge from 0% uh, for the 560 watt hour battery. And then the S-Pro entry level variants, um, this has a charge time of uh, three to four hours uh, for the 360 watt hour battery. Okay, so let's talk about the logistics of the uh, scooters itself and how they uh, fold down. So uh, let's start with the RS. Um, you can fold the scooter down quite easily. So this uh, contraption here, if you want to fold the stem down or the, what do you call this, the tube, the top tube, 
First of all, you lift this up here, this latch, and then this latch comes down like that, and then it literally just folds down like so. And see this hook over here underneath the handlebars? Uh, that latch is down here beneath uh, this, uh, this bit there. So this is actually a brake. You can actually brake the scooter like that. But if you want to just carry it so that latch is under, then you can carry it on the train or public transport. First of all, lift up the brake, obviously. There's a foot brake as well. And then you can lift it up like that. Again, 25 kilo, 23 kilograms. Uh, you know, fairly heavy. Uh, but if you need the long range, then that's, uh, that's the, I guess that's the compromise with the weight. Uh, and then to uh, bring it back up again, foot brake down, put the brake down like that, lift the handlebars up. Top tube goes up. And make sure this is latched in there, so that latches in. Okay. And this one latches up. That clicks down and you're good to go. Okay, so similarly with the S-Pro uh, entry level, um, if you want to fold this down, you have to um, bring this top tube down first, but there's a different contraption here. So this one, you slide this down across like that, away from this latch, and pull this down. And then the whole thing, handlebars, collapse down. Okay, and then same thing with the brake. Handlebars go under, the, under that hole there. Okay. And this is much lighter to carry, so foot brake up. So, 15 kilograms. Uh, much easier to carry this on public transport. Okay, and then to bring the handlebars up again, foot brake down, uh, back brake push down, handlebars go up, top tube goes up, and then the contraption again, so this latch goes up, and then slide this around to lock it in, and that's pretty secure. Okay, I just want to talk about the wheels. So uh, all four wheels are pneumatic, 10 inch. Uh, they've got disc brakes, and uh, they've also uh, can be pumped up as well with a valve inlet there. And also on this one on the S-Pro. You see the disc brakes uh, through there. I'll just bring the camera around so you can show the disc brakes on, on both of them. So there's a disc brake on this one, on the RS, and then the S-Pro disc brake. Okay, and both uh, scooters have got a powered brake light as well for safety. And also both scooters uh, have powered uh, headlight as well for visibility at night. All right, so there are differences in the handlebars between the two devices. So the one on the right is the entry level S-Pro and only comes with a, uh, a rear handlebar brake like that. Bells there as well, quite nice. Uh, no brake on this side and the uh, handlebars can be removed like that for uh, more compact storage. Same with that side, of course. Um, and then on the RS, long range, uh, handlebars on both sides. I guess obviously it feels a bit more sturdy because uh, it's the uh, long range version, a bit more expensive as well. Uh, and both have a display and they show exactly the same information. So we'll focus on the RS to show you what you can uh, see on the display. All right, so let's have a look at the RS display, which as I said, is exactly the same as the um, S-Pro. So we'll focus on this one. So we've got uh, on button there, so we'll push that for a few seconds. So it comes on like that. And uh, let's have a look at the telemetry. So you've got uh, the battery life indicator there. Normally there are five bars, currently there's four. So about 80% charge. And obviously that is the speedometer. Um, and uh, the throttle here is on the right hand side, this red thing here. So that can be titrated to exactly how fast you want to go. Um, it's not all or none. You can sort of go, sort of lightly tap it or bring it all the way down. And then when there's no display like that, the top speed is six kilometers an hour. You can cycle between them. So if I press this uh, button one more time, the white D comes on and that has a top speed of 15 kilometers an hour. If I press it one more time, the red D comes on, which is the sport mode, uh, and that tops out at 25 kilometers an hour. And let me tell you, it is pretty quick at 25 uh, on this scooter. And uh, if you want to turn the light on, it's a double tap this one. And then the light comes on, you can see my hand. And then turn it off, same thing, double tap. And then to turn the whole thing off, it goes off like that. Okay, so the, both these scooters have an upper weight limit of 100 kilograms uh, each. Now currently in New South Wales at the time of this video, it's actually illegal uh, to ride these electric scooters on public roads, footpaths, basically anywhere in New South Wales except on private property. 
so uh, a very good friend of mine uh, kindly allowed me to ride around his uh, driveway there, as you can see in this footage. But uh, except for a few trials that are running in New South Wales, as I said, you can't actually ride these uh, in public areas at all, not even in car parks or on bike paths at the moment. So hopefully those laws will change in our state. So for a proper test, I had to drive to Canberra this week uh, to test the scooters. This is what happened. All right, so I'm currently on the RS version of the M Earth scooter, which is the long range version with the bigger battery pack. And uh, I'm on just pedestrian mode, which can go at six kilometers an hour. The throttle is activated by pushing this red uh, thing down. That's the throttle. And if I want to go on the first mode, which is the uh, sport, which is the white D, and that tops out at 15 kilometers an hour, a lot of fun. And if I want to go on to the red D, which is the Sport Plus, I think. It goes at 25 kilometers an hour. And that is pretty quick. And then that's how I brake with the two pedals there, front and rear brakes. And uh, this allows you to hill climb as well in sport mode. Very powerful machines, a lot of fun. Hi everyone, uh, this is Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Hope you enjoyed my review of the uh, Mert scooters. This is the uh, S Pro entry level scooter and the one I'm sitting on is the RS long range variant uh, available from mirth.com.au. Don't forget to use my coupon code for 10% off all products site wide. I'll leave those details in the video description below. Until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging.